do an unboxing of um, kit number 12 from the Tonic Craft Kit. This kit is for um, August 2018 and the first kit that came out was September 2017. So they've been going our whole year now, which is crazy because it feels like yesterday that the first kit came out. But um, this is another gorgeous kit and I really love these kits because you get to try so many of the different things that... Um, Tonic make, so you get a selection of their Craft Perfect cardstock, you get an exclusive die and stamp set, um, you get all sorts of different um, tester sized portions of their Nouveau ranges, or you even get full sized um, ones in some cases too, like in here. So um, I'll walk you through everything you get in kit number 12, um, and all the links to where you can subscribe to their kit will be below. Um, this one might not be available to get anymore. It depends how popular they are. Once people have subscribed to them, you can get them as one-off kits um, if there's any stock left. Um, and you can also subscribe just to um, one month, or you can do it quarterly, or I think you can do it for the whole year as well, and you save um, more money depending um the length of subscription you go for, you but you can cancel it at any time as well. And they also um, ship internationally, not just in the UK. So let's get on with the unboxing. So it all comes um, in a lovely box that says Tonic Craft Kit on it. And it's all nicely packaged. You get a piece of paper telling you what's in the kit. So um, if you break up the kit and put it in your craft stash like I usually do, um, you can still remember what was what was like put together as a nice colour scheme to go with it or whatever so um, this kit's called Hello Autumn Shaker um, and you get it all wrapped up, it's all lovely like this so in this month's kit uh, let's go through the stamp and die set first so you get it in a lovely little um, folder like this and every like three or four um, kits they include um, a small A5 uh, binder for you to keep these in as well because they've got the, the two holes ready for the binder and it's a really nice way to keep them. So, this month we have this gorgeous kit sticker which is like a nice big round sticker that you could you could either stick it on the front of here, you could stick it on a notice board, you know, you could even put it on a card if you wanted to so you could do whatever you want with that. Then, this month's stamp set has lots of love, hello autumn, a cute little squirrel, an acorn, um, and a few different types of leaves. I think that's maybe a pine cone as well. Um, so lovely cute little dinky stamp set. And these are all um, really high quality photopolymer stamps as well. So they're going to last and give you gorgeous stamped impressions first time as well. Then you get your die set, which um, is an enormous die set. Um, and it comes on two pieces of acetate um, but at the end of this video I'll show you how I like to um, store all of my die sets as well um, you actually get a coordinating die for each of the stamps which is really nice so even for the sentiment stamps you get the coordinating die so you could um, stamp and heat emboss this onto vellum and then die cut it out or onto cardstock or whatever you want really you could even I might do this in one of my videos, um, die cut an aperture, make it into a shaker card, just the shape of this, and then have your sentiment behind so that the sequence will sort of shake in front of the sentiment too. Um, you also have the matching die for the other sentiment in the set, and it even goes up with that swirl of the L, which is really nice. And you get dies to cut out all of your stamped images too. I'm pretty sure you do. I think that's the squirrel. Mm, yeah, that's the little squirrel. And the acorn and the pine cone. And there's the two little leaves as well. So you get a die to cut every single stamp out. Then you also get this so that it's based around this main shape of a maple leaf. I think it's a maple leaf. Um, because in the kit, yeah it is a maple leaf, in the kit you also get a packet of um, their blister shakers. So a while ago, I think it was last year sometime, they brought out four sets of these. There was um, a sort of, well an egg shape but it was a balloon I think, 
um, a star, a circle and a heart. Um, and so now they've, they've given you um, a set of five, which is really nice. So you don't have to be precious over it. You can make a few shaker cards and still have a couple left. Um, and I think they're going to be um, selling these as well. So maybe when you order your kit, you can add in an extra box of these if you want. And so these are the perfect shape to fit in your die. So this is hence why you have so many of these shapes. I think the smallest one fits perfectly. Yeah, that would cut your aperture for your um, shaker to fit in. And then you've got um, four more dies radiating out from that in increasing sizes so you can create nice frames for them as well. And your blister uh, shakers come with adhesive on the back which is really helpful too. And I've got an idea, hopefully, this video will be up on my Crafty Potential channel. Um, I want to try and make this into um, a diorama. So I'm thinking of incorporating the hedgehog stamp from the first kit um, and then adding all the sort of leaves and stuff around. I think it's going to work. So hopefully that will be a video that will exist. I might even um, add a photo of it to the end as well if it works. Okay, anyway, got sidetracked by that. But um, yeah, so that shape works with your shakers and then you also get tons of um, gorgeous leaf dies as well and you get you got a separate outside shape and you've got the inside shape too and they work in conjunction with each other to give you um, a nice detail oh yeah it's going to give you an outline shape well that's really nice actually I haven't cut any of these yet but that's going to look really good oh I really like that that's a really clever design Okay, that's good. Um, so basically, let's, I'll try and show you what I mean. So these two dies, they'll go inside each other like this. So you'll get a really thin outline of a leaf and it'll have the um, intricate veining in the middle attached to it too. That's a really clever design. I really like that. And then you could um, cut the centerpiece out of a different colour and paper piece it back in. I think that's going to look good. There might be a video doing that too. Okay. So that is the lovely die set and I'll come back to that in a minute and show you how I store it. Then you also get the Midas Touch pen which is like an amazing gorgeous shimmer pen. So it's um, they originally bought out their Aqua Shimmer Glitter Gloss which was um, sort of a clear or silvery glitter in a clear suspension and now they've brought out the gold version so that's so it's really nice that you get a full-sized pen in your kit too so this is going to last quite a long time and also if you if you've already purchased one of these it's quite nice to know you've got a spare one so you don't feel so frugal with the one you're using as well and um, then you get a little cute embossing powder i'm pretty sure this is a new color that they haven't brought out in the big uh, pop yet. This is called Copper Blush. So I think this is going to go really nicely um, with the Arabian Nights colour palette as well. Then you get a tiny little um, Nouveau Crystal Drops in Auburn Pearl, which is one of the new colours that came out recently, also in the Arabian Nights colour scheme. You get a pot of rose gold sequins, perfect to go in your shaker pouches. Um, and also nice to just scatter over your card as well and then this is the exciting part so this is uh, vintage drops from Nuvo these have not been um, released yet and I think there's going to be eight colours when they do come out um, but you've got one before they've even properly come out yet and this one is called Vanilla Milkshake and it's a gorgeous sort of um, creamy sort of magnolia colour and I did a little swatch because, so the the cool thing about the vintage drops is we've already had a pearl finish, we've already had a high gloss finish and the glitter finish and even the translucent ones, but this one is a matte finish. And on the back of the packet it tells you that um, you get the full matte effect after 48 hours. So I did a swatch two days ago. Um, of a few of them to, so you can see that gorgeous matte finish it is really nice I can't wait to use it on a project um, have I got so these are some Nouveau drops I did the other day 
this is the glossness of the white gloss and so if I hold that there and then this is the matte so you can really tell the difference of how lovely and matte these new vintage drops are compared to the gloss finish so they're going to be really exciting to use in your projects so that's and they dry um, really solid you do want to um, leave I I tend to leave mine like well I tend to make mine ahead of time and I sort of leave them to dry for a week or two before I put them in a pot so they're really nice and dry but um, they're usually dry to the touch after an hour um, but you want to leave them at least 24 hours to dry all the way through and then obviously for the full matte finish to appear you want to leave them for 48 hours but, um, and you can get such fine detail with them too tiny tiny little drops and they don't crack or anything so perfect and then finally let me get the piece of paper out finally you get your card stock so you get it's a gorgeous colour palette sort of kind of muted autumn I'd say um, but you get this gorgeous um, glitter card which is like hardly any shed you get a teeny bit off but really it's like minuscule compared to most glitter card and this is the Welsh gold colour then you get um, a specialty paper which this one was in the um, Arabian Nights colour collection from Craft Perfect and this one's called Square Sequins then you get a gorgeous copper um, matte mirror card also from the Arabian Nights collection and I'm pretty sure this one's called Copper Mine, yes, Copper Mine. Then, oh, I'll do these two first. Then you get this one which is a gorgeous um, diamond pattern um, embossed into a pearly cardstock. This one came out in the Ocean Air collection. And this one is called Champagne Harlequin. And then this one was also in the Ocean Air collection. And it's um, a gorgeous pearlescent card. And it's double-sided, which I love, with the pearlescent card. And this one's called Ivory Sheen. Then the last specialty one. I've not seen this one before. It's called Golden Leaves. So it's really sort of a subtle leaf design. It kind of looks like pressed leaves. It's gorgeous. And then finally, you get a sheet of their um, Craft Perfect textured card in cream. So that's got a, a linen texture on it. So that's everything you get in your kit. Everything coordinates perfectly. So I'm going to just quickly put all of this away. And then I will show you how I like to store um, my dies. And I might actually show you what the Midas Touch Pen looks like too. So, you always get the dies just on um, a couple of pieces of acetate so you can really see everything that you've got. But I like to take um, an A5 magnetic sheet and then I usually trim off a bit, I think I do. I usually just take my tonic guillotine and um, just trim off maybe this much off the side just so it fits in the pocket nicer. So that will slide into the pocket much easier now. Then I just start peeling off all the dies and adding them to the sheet. So they all nest inside each other, which is nice. And when you do this, you can actually, you, know, you can really tell um, the graduation in sizes as well. I like that. This one has got the cutting edge on the inside and then a stitched edge on the outside. So if you cut um, these two, can't pick it up. Uh, if you cut these two together, you would get a really narrow frame that's scalloped on the outside with the stitching which is nice I'm 
Okay. Well, then this one. Then you can put that one inside. You can, sometimes you have to fiddle around to get them all to fit inside each other, but it's not usually too difficult. Put the squirrel in there. It's quite nice as well because you get the ones that all coordinate with the stamps. So I'm going to try and squeeze them all inside there so I know which ones they are. And then we have these little kiwi leaves too, which are cute. And then all of these ones fit inside each other. So that one goes with this one. And then we've got this one with this one. I can't wait to use these leaves. They're going to look so cool. And this one. I love that you get so much in these die sets as well. You know, they're not just a tiny little die set. They're really well thought out and they're really going to be um, nice and versatile as well. And then more tiny little leaves. These are perfect for making tiny shaker elements to go in your shakers as well. So that is how I like to store my dies. Um, yeah, so just keep them on a piece of magnet and they're not going to fall off. You could use one of the medium storage pockets um, that Tonic do as well, but I just, well, I bought these by accident because I thought it said 5A4 magnetic sheets, but it said 4A5 magnetic sheets, so <laughs> should read better, but anyway. Um, and just slide that in there, and then where did I put the stamp set? Oh, well, I usually just slide the stamp set on the other side, I've left it in the box, but there we go, that's that. And then, just quickly, I will show you um, what the Midas Touch looks like. This is my one I've been using. So, or if you squeeze it, you get loads of glitter out. But it's so gorgeous. Proper gold sheen. If I dry it quickly, it shows up nicer as well. There we go. Look at that sheen. Gorgeous. So that was the unboxing for um, the Tonic Craft Kit number 12. So I hope you enjoyed this video and um, see you again soon. Bye.